Hare Krishna. To savor what is most sweet, we often need to shed the most sweat. No pains, no gains. It's a common saying which and reveals a fundamental truth of the world that nothing comes free in this world. But at the same time, this doesn't necessarily mean that all pains will lead to gains. We have to choose product, choose purposefully and wisely so that we can choose the pain that is the pathway to pain, that is the pathway to gain. And for this purpose, each one of us needs to choose wisely. The Bhagavad Gita points the nature of higher pleasures which are uplifting spiritually, which are situated in the mode of goodness. So in 1837 it is stated that yattad agre vishamiva that which tastes like poison in the beginning will taste like nectar in the end pariname amritopamam and tatsukham satvikam proktam this is happiness in the mode of goodness atma buddhi prasadajam and it actually gives us spiritual intelligence so not only do we become joyful but we also become wise so it's inter interesting that sometimes people think that pleasure and wisdom don't go together. But in goodness, if we are ready to tolerate the initial pain, then pleasure and wisdom come together. So, but the important thing is for our context that there is a poison initially, which we need to tolerate and resist and persevere through. So that means that if we want to grow in our spiritual life we need to begin by build uh, the willingness to go to shed sweat so now among all sweet things any good habit is valuable but the sweetest of all things is uh, love for the one who is supremely sweet one who is supremely attractive that is krishna in fact everything attractive in the world just manifests a spark of his splendor as the Gita 1041 states, Mamtejo Amsha Sambhava. So he is the sweetest of all realities. And connecting with him often requires us to shed the most sweat. Not physical sweat, but emotional sweat, intellectual sweat, spiritual sweat. That means we have to direct our intelligence toward Krishna. We have to focus, give up those emotions which take us away from Krishna and prop up, strengthen those emotions which take us toward Him and ultimately we have to offer our heart and soul to Him. So this is inner work and if we do this inner work, we will find that there will be the supreme satisfaction. So knowing that we have to shed sweat, let us shed sweat for that which will give the, uh, which will give the most sweet result that is connect us with and absorb us in Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna.